I, I'm not one to kink shame. I'm not one to kink shame, you know, but you're you're in you're you're into whatever you're into, right? A lot of a lot of furries follow me. A lot of a lot of people that like feet follow me. The worst of the bunch, if you ask me. You know, there's a there's 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 a fetish for everyone. Everybody has a fetish. Everybody has something that they're into. And I'm not one to shame. Me personally, I enjoy the big the big anime booba. Short stack supremacy. The itty bitty titty committee is a terrorist organization. But <laughs> there has to be a line. There has to be a fucking line somewhere. Bomb squad. <laughs> but bomb squad called to Glic- Gloucestershire Royal Hospital after man gets a world war. What <laughs> up? Stuck up his bottom. His bottom. <laughs> like why? The bomb squad get bloody cold, man, right? A bomb squad was called... Hmm. I can make it through this article. The bomb squad was called to Gloucestershire Royal Hospital on Thursday, December the 2nd, after a patient was admitted with a mortar shell stuck in his rectum. <laughs> right. Troops from uh, 11 Explosive Ordnance Disposal Regiment rushed to the Glister, Sh- Glister Hospital after being notified by police that a patient has presented with, with a munition in his rectum. <laughs> the man the man was a military enthusiast. Yeah, you can fucking say that. <laughs> it's, who found the shell while clearing out. But somehow... Tripped and fit. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm certain. Yeah, how many? For anyone that w- that's watching this, right, that is a nurse or a doctor or anything like that, I guarantee every single one of you that you all have at least one story, at least one story of someone tripping and falling onto something. You, you all definitely have one story about that. Uh, tripped and fell onto the 57mm piece of army ordnance that landed him in hospital, according to the sun. Right. <laughs> and it's just like, look, he found the shell while he was clearing out, right? Okay, then that's fine. Whenever whenever I'm clearing up the shed or anything like that, or I'm clearing out places, sometimes I find old stuff, right? I find, oh, look, there's there's a folder of old magic cards. They weren't worth anything, sadly. However, oh, look, there's, there's some old photo albums. Oh, look, there's, there's my old bicycle pump, but never... Never, ever, ever have I went like came across something while I was clearing out and going, oh, there's that. I'm going to put that up my fucking ass. <laughs> like, who, who thinks like that? And it's also it's a mortar. It's a mortar. The the 57 millimeter mortar was used by the Royal Artillery in the Second World War as anti tank rounds. Though it would later also be used by British tanks in North Africa. These rounds measure at 57 millimeters in diameter and an eye-watering 170 millimetres in length. A source told The Sun the guy said he found the shell when he was having a clear-out of his stuff. Uh, He said he put it on the floor, and then he slipped and fell on it, and it went up his arse. Okay. The Ministry of Defence said, We can't confirm the Ministry of Defence. Even they get involved in it. We can confirm that an Army Explosive Ordnance Disposal Team was called out to Gloucestershire Hospital at the request of local police. A spokesperson for Gloucestershire Hospital's NHS Foundation Trust said, We can confirm that the Police and Explosive Ordnance Disposal Team attended Gloucestershire Royal Hospital yesterday. It is with any, as with any incident involving munitions, the Relevant safety protocols were followed to ensure that there was no risk to patients, staff or visitors at any time. The unsteady patient was released from hospital and is expected to make a full recovery, so long as he does not trip and fall onto any more artillery shells. Okay, now, I don't know, I don't know about any of you. I've got a feeling this video is not going to get monetized anyways. Fuck it, let's just go for it, right? Yeah, 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 well. Tried to put anything in there. I mean, not my own. Other other people's. Those brave enough. <laughs> but, eh. Uh, have you ever, you ever tried to just put anything in there? Where, uh, not, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't happen. It just doesn't go. It just does not. No matter. 
no matter, no matter how hard you try, you know, it, it doesn't happen. It just doesn't go in. And you're, you're just going to, like, hurt the other person, right? So it's always nice, you know, at least, at least a little bit of spit. At least, right? Or a lot of lube, right? Things don't just go up there, right? Things don't. See if you, see if you fall, see if you fall on something like that. It doesn't just make a clean entrance and stuff like that. Oh, I appear to have managed to get an entire mortar wedged up my rectum. Like that does not just happen, right? That man lubed it up first, right? You don't like see see to get it to end to the point where it gets stuck. Right to the to where it gets to the point it gets stuck. Nah, 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 nah. You you lived up, bro. You did not. You did not trip and fall on anything. Right, you're a liar. Right? At least at least just be honest about it. Right, all the nurses and doctors know what happened. Right, at least just turn around and go. Yeah, I shoved it up there. Yeah, yeah. I was just feeling kind of feeling kind of kinky. Okay, I was just kind of horny. I mean, whatever you do in the privacy of your own home is absolutely fine, right? You know, until the shrapnel starts rattling into your neighbours' houses. I mean, I hope it wasn't live. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pray and hope that it was a deactivated round, right? I mean, even even with deactivated stuff like they still, people still freak out, and as soon as they say, "Oh, he says it's deactivated," even though the owner of this explosive says it's deactivated, the police and bomb disposal squad will go. Yeah, that's that's not good enough. We're still coming out there, right? So I'm hoping it was a deactivated round, right? Because I mean that that is an entirely new form of one man one jar, right? I mean one man one jar. He he he's very 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 badly like screwed himself up. You know he he did some he did some damage to himself, right? But by mortar, <laughs> like that's imagine sitting down on it and just going, oh yeah, and then just. Turning into fucking red mist as your fucking shed just dematerializes around you. Right? What a, what a way to go. What, how, how are you going to explain yourself at the gates of heaven? You're standing there in the line. The guy behind you's like, ah, oh, I had a heart attack. Or what about you? Ah, oh, I had a stroke and I was lying on the floor for six days. I wish my grandkids would come and visit. I might have been alive. Anyway, what about you? I shoved a, a mortar up my arse. And and it and it exploded. Oh fuck, man! Your your story's even sadder than mine. In fact, in fact, my my story's like an episode of the Adventure Time compared to yours, man. Jesus Christ, you pathetic individual! And then he gets to the gates, and the guy just goes, "Nah, nah." I mean, there's there's the gen, and then there's what you did. Down the ladder, first on the right. Enjoy eternity. <laughs> fuck me, man. But yes, look, I'll, I I will still say right, right. If you if you are into any kinks or anything like that, that's absolutely fine. That's absolutely fine, right? You know, I I like the big anime booba. I like booty. Booty's nice. Sue calls me daddy sometimes, but apart from that, right, that's fine. If people have kinks, people have kinks. It's not a problem. However, um, and there's a I'm libertarian, right? I'm a little bit libertarian, so uh, have whatever kinks you want, but. I think if there is a line to be drawn, it's it's a shoving explosive ordnance up your arse.